So we did invite Kendra. It, she's here to talk us about the yes on Measure J, the reimagined Los Angeles measure that's on our November ballot. This was authored by Supervisor Sheila Kuhl. Measure J was placed on the ballot by the, by the LA County Board of Supervisors in a four to one vote. And it's supported by a coalition of almost 100 community-based nonprofits, including Black Lives Matter, Los Angeles, and the Limited, and the United Way of Greater Los Angeles, as well as endorsed by Los Angeles County Democratic Party, Mary Garcetti, among many others. So please welcome Kendra Burns Edel. Hello, everyone. Um, happy Sunday. Uh, thanks, Palos Verde Gems, for allowing us to be here. Um, my name is Marie Lloyd, and I'm with the Measure J campaign. Um, I think based on what we've seen this afternoon on what's happening on the national level, both in terms of the presidential, some of those Senate races, um, I do want to say, even though we're not in a swing state and we don't have a significant Senate race uh, this election cycle here in LA County, County, voters have a chance to lead the nation by voting yes on Measure J. And that's for two reasons. The first is that Measure J is the first of its kind. It is the only measure on any ballot in the nation right now that specifically says to address the disproportionate effects of racial injustice in our systems. And two, as we all know, as California goes, so does the nation. And here in LA County, we are larger than 39 other states. So the work that we do can be significant in other localities uh, copying us and doing this work. So what is Measure J? Measure J mandates that 10% of LA County's unrestricted budget go towards community investment and alternatives to incarceration. So what is that? That's youth development, that's capital for funding affordable housing and transitional housing projects. That's uh, increased access to capital for small businesses, including women run and minority owned businesses. That's alternatives to incarceration, meaning drug court and treatment versus going to jail. And that is more emphasis and funding towards mental health care providers. So, you know, when we look at who this measure would really Im impact. It, Im it impacts our youth, specifically the 30, 33,000 foster care youth in LA County. It impacts our, our people who are currently experiencing homelessness, which as you all know in LA County is nearly 60,000 people. And it, and it affects the people who are in, make up our jail system, 18,000 people. LA County has the largest jail in the country. And, you know, we need to go away from using punishment and imprisonment as the way we solve our issues and address the root issues, care over jails, investing in people over prison. And that's what Measure J does. You know, I know that you mentioned that we're endorsed by the L.A. Times and Eric Garcetti. We are endorsed by the uh, L.A. County Democratic Party. And this week we earned the endorsements of Congressman Adam Schiff and Congresswoman Karen Bass. So I hope to earn your guys' endorsement today and um, would love to open up the discussion for any questions you might have on the measure. Uh, lastly, it, it is not a tax um, and it is not a defund measure. This does not defund the sheriff. It is simply a right sizing of our budget and putting our money towards our values. Might have got to go to the voters. Um, I don't see any questions, but I do have. So in terms of, uh, I've seen the, obviously there's some positive, I see the positive ads, but there, in terms of the negative, it has to do with what the, the sheriffs are against you, the, the police union, they're, they're claiming that you're defunding them. And uh, that's not how it reads. So maybe you could just go a little bit clear into why they were not on board with this. Uh I don't know if I can get into the exact reason why the sheriff's department isn't on board, but I do think generally any sort of attack on them, um, they're taking it out a little bit on Measure J. So again, it does not defund them. They will still have their multi-billion dollar budget. In fact, um, LA County spends $1.75 billion on punishment and about $230 million on the sorts of programs that Measure J would fund. That's seven times more on incarcerating people than taking care of the root causes. If you think about in terms of juvenile justice, we spend about $1,200 a day to put someone under the age of 18 in a juvenile camp. 
that would mean that we can send 30,000 students to UCLA. So I think we do need to kind of shift our priorities. So you're absolutely right. They have outspent us in this campaign uh, to the tune of $2.5 million, and that's through three sources. All three of those sources are law enforcement unions. Um, and what they're saying is that this would hurt essential workers, essentially, you know, the people who would answer 911 calls. And all I can say to you is that's not true. And we are endorsed by social workers. We're endorsed by nurses. We're endorsed by EMT. So um, I think they're they're holding on for straws. And my hope is that uh, with voters like you, uh, Measure J can prevail and we can do the work that we know reduces homelessness, recidivism, and actually invest in our, our communities and makes them safer. And so, so I was just going to ask one question. Who was right. that? Connie. Second. Oh, let me just ask this. So a lot of people want to know why uh, the supervisors couldn't just pass this on their own. And why does why did they give it out to the voters? I think fair enough. I think if I were going to give a truly political answer back, it is the power of these unions who they do represent. Um, you know, we did not receive the endorsement of the county labor fed, even though we were due, we received the endorsement of five labor organizations that make up that. And that's because of the weight of uh, the unions and, and the political money and power that they have. Uh, as you noted, we have four of the five votes towards Measure J and all four of those uh, supervisors are helping us fundraise, helping us do, you know, uh, media and and getting votes of people like yours so i think if anything this mandate will help them do their job more efficiently um, in years ahead because now they'll have at least 10 percent instead of the 2.5 percent that we currently spend on these sorts of programs okay connie you had a question well it's not really a question it's a comment you know, that the county budget is a finite pie and if a certain amount of it is going to be allocated to me, let me say at the outset, I voted for Measure J, okay? But uh, to, say, to say that it's not gonna take money away from the sheriffs or other programs, there's nothing magical here. The sheriffs, uh, some of their budget will probably be cut and possibly other programs as well to fund this. So it's a little disingenuous to say that, I think. So uh, how the LA County budget is currently made up is it's a $35 billion budget and only 8.8% or 8.8 .8 billion of that is unrestricted. So the sheriff's and the jail operator's budget is part of that larger 35 and the unrestricted is more open-ended. Some of the programs that you might know within the unrestricted budget include the LA County's $100 million fund for affordable housing, another thing in which we voted on. So this would just mandate that through that, that $8.8 .8 billion piece, 10% goes to these sorts of programs. And I understand what you're saying, but the reason why so many of the people who work within the county want this mandate is so that they don't have to think about budgeting in terms of fiscal year to fiscal year. Because when we're invested in, investing in these sort of more long-term programs, you know, similar to a nonprofit organization, they want the stability to know that the funding will be there so they can make those sorts of investments. So yes, you're right. Uh, it could be considered defunding in the sense that, you know, maybe we won't buy uh, more weapons or overtime or kind of the special projects that the sheriff's um, department does want in this kind of unrestricted budget. But what we believe is that if we invest in the root causes and if we invest in alternatives to incarceration, think mental health uh, care providers showing up to a call of someone entering a mental health care crisis. You know, as I mentioned, we have 18,000 people in LA County Jail right now. More than 50% of those people have a severe mental illness. And so we are spending more to actually treat them in jail than the county does towards housing, mental health, and healthcare combined. It's just about allocating the resources we do have in a way that we know is a better investment of our, of our dollars. Why did we need a, a, a Mr. J or anything then? It, it, does, it does, doesn't quite make sense to me. And I did work for the county and I'm a little bit familiar with the budget, but that's okay. I'll let it go. So the reason why we do measure J in the first place is because we haven't funded these, these sorts of programs. No, I know. I if, it, if it's part of the general fund or unrestricted budget, as you say, it just seems to me like the board 
makes those decisions all the time about how to spend that money. And I, yes. it, it, it is a political hot button. I, I get that. So I get that's why they wanted the people to decide, I guess. Absolutely. And that's why, you know, this coalition and this campaign is is run by more than 100 organizations, uh, many of whom are, are have said that we want the people's dollars to be put on the front of the line. And so, you know, I know 10 percent seems like a drop in the bucket, but it's incredibly meaningful for for us and the work that we want to do. OK, we are running. We've actually ran out of time. We usually end by 430, but I would like to just say one last thing in terms of what ha what Connie said and another question that's come up in terms of what pre precipitated this measure. Do you think the Black Lives Matter movement, also what's happened in Portland, uh, precipit you know, pushed this kind of measure forward? I, I do think that uh, the movement for Black Lives definitely motivated the supervisors to take the action when they did. That said, the work of this coalition to put Measure J on the ballot has been in the works for more than a decade. Um, and I think they just took advantage of uh, the political environment and, you know, we're, we're very proud that it made it to the ballot this cycle. And the hope is that, you know, with racial justice on the forefront of so many people's minds, and as I mentioned, this is the only measure in the nation to do so. Um, that isn't a defunding, it isn't a new tax. Um, my hope is that LA County voters can lead the way.